Hi guys, this is Svein on the SRS channel back again and today we're gonna have a look at the uh, Super 7 Ultimates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Donatello figure and uh, yeah, I've already reviewed two of the four Turtles figures here and that means we can waste less time on the boxes again it comes in a brown shipper box you've seen this before only difference on this box is the name Donatello so we can just throw that to the side inside you find the same style of box as with the others and again the inside box came packed in a plastic bag and now as we have gotten that out of the way the only difference on this box compared to the others is that you have the, the Nutella face and his weapons on the turtle shield there on the front as well as the name Donatello here Still got the Turtles logo on the back, Ultimates logo on the top, and all that stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead, take off the slip cover, and go straight to the window display here. And yet again, we have a beautiful display window for the figure here. Box is done in the exact same style as the two previous figures I've reviewed so nothing new there besides from the bio on the back here which you can pause the camera and read it on your own time if you want to and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the packaging uh, let me open it up and take out the contents as with the uh, Two previous past figures, they come boxed in the same way. In the top layer here, you have the figure itself with some weapons and accessories. And on the bottom tray, you have three pairs of extra hands as well as the homage to the old Playmates figures, the weapon rack here with unpainted weapons. So to save time, let me take everything out of the plastic trays and split them out on the table and I'll be right back. And uh, here is everything splayed out as it was laying in the packaging with the uh, and painted weapon sprue and extra hands on the left and the figure and everything that came in the top layer on the right there and uh, yeah as usual we go by the accessories first and here you have all of Donatello's weapons as they came in the old vintage Playmates line with two bow staffs, two ninja stars and various edged weapons in the middle there and uh, yeah not much to say about it That's what you get. You get a pair of fisted hands with nicely painted fingernails there. Nice sculpt with the in out hinge on. As far as I can tell, all the extra hands have a uh, in-out hinge like this. And uh, 
you have a pair of weapon holding hands here. Also with the in out hinge, nicely painted fingernails and <clears throat> the hands it comes with straight out of the box are the exact same as these but with the up down hinge instead of the in out hinge for that option of possibility. And you get the uh, grabbing hands or whatever you want to call them to hold some of the other accessories like the calm equipment and the pizza slice. Nicely painted fingernails on those too. And as with all the other turtles we've gotten so far you get a closed and open turtle comb here nicely painted buttons in there sculpted like a shell there's the other side I think I saw a review on the Leonardo figure today where the button piece here on the back was painted silver I uh, can't wait to open mine up and see how it is, but uh, as far as I can recall, I've seen there's been different painting on the buttons here on some of these turtle combs, though all the combs have had uh, blue painted screens, but uh, yeah, looks like there's uh, some plastic mistake on the sculpt on mine here like there's a piece of poo or something on the comb anyway there's the turtle combs and then you get the pizza with the pepperoni and cheese. Cheese is in a glossy finish while the crust is in a more matte finish. And then you have the painted various weapons here. You have those right here painted silver with brown handles and it this one on the left looks like it have had uh, some sort of a black wash if that's intentional or not I'm not sure but yeah painted silver with a brown wrapped handle like you've seen with all the other turtles so far. Then you have this one. Also painted silver with a brown wrapping on the handle. Silver on the butt end there. Also looks like it's had a black wash. Surprisingly enough, it's not as warped as the other ones have been. But then again... The accessories with Donatello hair <laughs> was a pain in the butt to get out. They were like really in there. You also get two of these silver painted ninja stars with a hole in the middle. And then you get two painted bow staffs. Painted to look like wood with the wrapping here in the middle. One of my bow stuffs are slightly bent, uh, but nothing a hairdryer or some hot boiled water can fix. Nicely sculpted and painted. 
And then you have the secondary head sculpt, which I'm a really big fan of. With the longer bandana in the back there. And I didn't notice on the previous ones, but there's a slight texture to the bandana itself. Looks like there's a slight texture to the skin on the turtle head as well. Really nice face expression there. Nicely done. It seems like mine have a paint flaw on the back there as well as you can see. I think that's the color of the plastic or maybe it's a mistake that's happened when they cleaned it up or maybe it happened in the packaging. Let me have a quick check here. No, I don't see anything with the packaging the cla uh, and the plastic tray that could have done that, but yeah, it's a slight bright green there yeah. it is what it is I guess but uh, yeah that's the alternate head of Donatello and then we have the figure and as I said in the two or in Michelangelo's review I went through the articulation in Raphael's review, so I'm going to skip on that this time around as well. But uh, here is the head sculpt that resembles the one that came with the old Playmates figures. With the shorter bandana in the back there, still has the texture to it. But uh, I'm going to use the alternate head sculpt. The only difference here is the D for Donatello on his buckle, the purple color on his elbow, wrist and knee pads, and the mask. Other than that, there's no difference. It's, uh, he's just got a different skin tone than all the other turtles. And you got a different harness for the bow staff that you just slide through like so. Kind of takes a little bit of doing, but something like that and there you have weapon storage on this back as I mentioned straight out of the box you have the up down hinge on the hands and that's just about it let me swap out this uh, head and I'll be right back and uh, here you have Donny posed up next to Raphael and Michelangelo, he's still eating his pizza, but uh, yeah, this is probably how I'm gonna post mine on the shelf. And uh, yeah, I, lo I, I love this, I uh, can't wait to open up Leonardo and have all four of them on display. That was basically it, guys. Put the uh, staff in Donatello's hands there. And put on his alternate head sculpt. And uh, I, I must say I really like the, the alternate head sculpt a lot better than the homage to the old Playmates line. It makes them look more like the comic versions. I actually wanted the 
NECA Mirage comic book versions of the Turtles figures with the old red bandanas. But uh, I couldn't find them for a reasonable price. So I settled for this uh, Super 7 Ultimates figures instead. And uh, I'm quite happy with them. Uh, they kind of look like the comic book versions, but with colors instead of brown pads and stuff and all red bandanas. But uh, yeah, I really like this and how it looks. And uh, yeah, what you see here is what you get. You get an homage to the Playmates old toy if you want that and uh, if you want to swap the head sculpt and use the painted weapons and the var uh, various hands you, you get a totally different figure in my opinion and uh, I actually love this it's it looks really good and now I have the all four turtles I've reviewed the third of the four so uh, yeah it's Leonardo up next if you like this review please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and as always go nuts in the comments and uh, I'll catch you on the next one guys bye bye